variables, this, these are the kind where it's not that we have a limit of integration that's infinity or negative infinity, it's that we have a function that is undefined somewhere over the interval of integration. Both of these functions, 1 over x and 1 over x squared, are undefined at 0. So I have to rewrite this as the limit, as, again, you can use t or a or b if that were, I'm going to use t. t approaches 0. Now t is actually approaching 0 from the right, which doesn't always matter, but it's worth noting, right? If I'm between 0 and 1, right, I'm on the number line between 0 and 1. If I'm in here, I'm definitely on the right side of 0, so I'm approaching 0 from the right. of the integral from t to 1 of 1 over x dx. So if we look at this, it's the limit t goes to 0 from the right. Um, no, actually no. Um, integral 1 over x is the natural log of the absolute value of x from t to 1. The limit t goes to 0 from the right of the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of t. I dropped the absolute values because both 1 and t are positive because t is approaching 0 from the right side of 0, which is the positive side. You could also write the absolute values, it wouldn't be a big deal. So this is going to be 0. And now, as t approaches 0 from the right, what happens to the natural log function? Well, if you recall, the natural log function looks like this. So if I'm approaching 0 from the right, the natural log function is going down, 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 down to negative infinity. This is actually going to be negative, negative infinity, negative infinity. So it's kind of crazy. Both the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x diverges and the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x diverges. So we say this integral from 0 to 1 diverges. If we think about this graphically, it means that if we look at the function 1 over x, which is this kind of thing, right, from 0 to 1, we're saying that this area here, in, right up there, it goes on forever and ever there, it's an infinite amount of area. Okay, let's look at the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x squared. So if you recall, the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared converged to 1. So we're going to do the same kind of thing we did over here, now over here. This is the limit, and it's all used to a this time. a goes to 0 from the right, still because it's between 0 and 1. Integral of 1 over x squared, which is x to the minus 2. That's going to be the limit if a goes to 0 from the right. Integral of, oh, sorry. Yeah, that is. Um, integrate this, you get x to the negative 1 over negative 1, which is just negative 1 over x from a to 1. Plugging over to integration, limit if a goes to 0 from the right. I get negative 1 over 1, which is negative minus negative 1 over a. So I get the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of negative 1 plus 1 over a, or 1 over a minus 1. So as a goes to 0 from the right, 1 over 0 blows up to infinity. So this goes to infinity minus 1, which is infinity. So this integral also diverges to infinity. Which again kind of makes sense because if you think about the graph of this, it's kind of the same as that. Here's 1 over x. 1 over x squared is just a little bit steeper, but it's still kind of the same thing. So we're still looking at kind of this, which ends up being infinite. Um, so what kind of integrals do converge where you have like an undefined point in between in to integration or at one over to integration? Well, here's an example. The integral from 0 to 9. It could have been 0 to 1, but I've said for convenience, but of 1 over the square root of x. So you look at this. Um, you have integral from, I should, I should just write this, the limit as t goes to 0, still from the right, because we're between 0 and 9, integral from t to 9, and remember this is x to the negative 1 half dx. So the difference between this one and the previous one is what's going to happen is when we integrated this one, x to the negative 2, we still got x to a negative power, right? The integral was x to the negative 1, which gave us an x in the denominator. When we integrate this one, we're going to end up getting x to a positive power, which is going to be in the numerator, and it's not going to be a problem of plugging 0. So let's see, I've got the limit. t goes to 0 from the right. I guess I'm actually integrating this now. Sorry. Okay, fine. So we're going to get the limit. As t goes to 0 from the right. Integrate this, you get x to the 1 half divided by 1 half between 2 and 9. 
simplify this as 2 times the square root of x with the limit of 2 goes to 0 from the right of 2 root x minus minus 9 plug in the 9 the limit of 3 goes to 0 from the right of 2 square root of 9 minus 2 square root so plug in the t and good thing we're approaching 0 from the right because t should be positive we're taking the square root of it but you can't approach t from the, 0 from the left for this kind of function so we get 2 times 3 minus 2 times 0, which is just 6. So this integral converges to 6.